yeah is there a way to is there like a specific uh title like no wave? just put your guys' uh, initials just call it bullshit duck wave <laughs> uh put two two zero somewhere and your initials that's it i find are we doing waves i think we're doing waves now we're doing waves now yeah oh, I, do I, I do mp3 i'm sorry i live my life in dot og format yeah um they're yeah. so the new system uh allows us to do better quality Oh, so if we... so so waves are technically like I think. Oh yeah, better. art nineteen, right? Isn't that shit a trip? Yeah, it's crazy. It's just crazy. It's like just like just on rock. Are we are we still streaming? We're still yeah. streaming. I was about to yeah, interrupt yeah. you. I, I'm fine with talking about a lot of it, but you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just FYI. Okay. Uh, do I need to save like the next one in a wave? Because I think mine automatically saves as an MP3 now. Um, yeah, just switch it over if you can. Yeah, just do that. That. It's just whenever you go to X here, I'll play with it after it finishes. Yeah, there's this, it's a drop down. Cool. That's what I assumed. Cool, cool, cool. It is exported. Uh, awesome. Um, we'll have you guys throw that on, I don't know, Google Drive or something. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Annoying. And we have one more. Is that fine? Yeah. Anyway. Okay. If you guys want to take a five minute break, uh, uh, I haven't peed since 1997. So. <laughs> I would, that sounds Thank like a bad thing. I have to pee and get a drink. Since, uh, since the, uh, the best movie ever, Space Jam, came out. So <laughs> holding it for a good reason. Uh, I've been uh, holding it for a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll never pee. Until then, the monsters come back. Um, yeah, oh, God. Why did we, the WAV save so fast, Michael? Tell me. Why did it save so fast? Because it's probably not compressing. compressing. It. Yeah. Yeah. There's, and, there's little processing. Right, and saving it as an Audacity file, which is huge, is extremely fast. So, yeah. Do you want me to resave this one as yes. uh Okay. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't think. Hurt, so. I think, like, David will notice. I don't think anyone else. Oh, good else point. Every other one we don't notice. have to. <laughs> oh, man, this is flying. Wait, have do you think. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so much bigger. bigger. By the way, because, like. What's up? Have you guys been hearing any fan noise on our end? Because no. the very fact that we're recording with an actual air conditioner running makes me feel like I'm getting away with murder. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I don't, don't hear anything on our side. Okay, cool, cool. And if the editors do, that's their problem. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't, the flavor text of Etten is they're extremely stinky and covered in bugs. So oh, so yeah. Just, just, just see the flies just buzzing. Just flies yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we used to do that whole thing where it's like sweat. You know, close the windows, uh, and turn the fan off. Now we know that you can remove most background noise. Um, not all of it, but. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. Speaking of, I'm going to go turn my AC on, grab a drink, go pee. Is it just me? Hey, chat. How's it going? You feeling all right? If you're having a good night, let me let me know. If you're having a bad night, tell me what's wrong. I'm like, let's get through this because you know what? This too shall pass. Like, I know it seems like all your problems are just gonna pile up, and it's just that everything's the end of the world. But honestly, you take a deep breath. Like, you just find your center, and you know you'll get through it. Everybody has a bad day. Everybody has their challenges, and you know you, you make it through. You make it. You know, tomorrow is another day. That's all I can say. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, 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 adorable. Uh, yes, I am the uh, Muppet for Dorkly's video series. I am Jared the Nerd. Uh, that was a thing we did because we realized that having, like, angry, pissy, outlandish opinions is good for clicks, but none of us wanted to actually be on camera saying things, so that's what we did. I am a medium medium boy. I'm a medium boy. I'm not a I'm not a beautiful boy. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Uh, my beard is soft and silky, but a little like you know, it it has some texture to it. In answer in answer to your question, huh? Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Jaden Root. Uh, the answer to your problem is have a more original premise. Uh, we all watch Futurama. What? I never got a grad. Uh, I know. Okay. Uh, I do need. I do. I love. I love streaming with Holden, who is currently desperately getting calories. Holden, how are you doing back there? Have you, uh, have you eaten food? Yeah, I did. I had like some. 
I had some frozen food earlier, but um, <laughs> it wasn't enough. <laughs> I am literally running on just adrenaline and vodka right now. No. Anything else will ruin the balance of power that is like focused into my kidneys. <laughs> just like shove the weed cookie in my face, then let me loose into the night. And just, just if I survive, I deserve to live. The ultimate test. All right. I keep looking, yeah, I keep looking at that thing, and it's like dessert time, and I'm like, oh, but that's. Lexi, if you can just get a handful of flax seeds and pulverize them into a powder and then just like funnel it into my gullet. You're beautiful. You need to stream it. Hold it. Yeah, JTW is very right there. You need to come over and do a stream. On I mean, hear, hear me out. It is fun and your and your chat is nice, but I have to play fun video games. Yeah. What did we do mm. last time? We didn't play fun video. We played Battlegrounds. We played Battlegrounds. It was amazing. It was time. super great. I know... Um, Tim, right? Mm -hmm. I know Tim plays a lot of Battlegrounds, right? I think he does. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like Tim plays so many video games that I know very little about. The only one I know anything about is Overwatch because I see all the fan art on Tumblr. So. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw that Tim was playing a lot of um, Battlegrounds as well. I'm streaming that a, a ton like everybody else and their brother is right now. Out. Tim, they're talking about Battlegrounds. Chris is bad oh, at games. Oh, he's PUBG? Every episode of our podcast. Oh, you one. get bonus points. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I play PUBG every day, and then I dream about it every night. Yeah, same here, man. I, I mean, if you go on my stream, it's the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> Except for I should uh, pu uh, play Japanese dating sims every Friday night. My friend Jackie comes over, and we play Japanese dating sims. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Which ones have you been that playing? Like fun. Um, right now we're playing Katawa Shoju, the cripple girl dating sim. Okay. What's your Twitch? Yeah. Uh, Hold Nader's Hell. Give it, give it a follow. Give and it a. Before that, we were playing um, Had to Full Boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jennifer and I were oh, playing shit. that. And then we it's lost our pretty bad pigeon action. I yeah. think next we're gonna do Dandelion. I'm really excited to be moving off of the the cripple yeah. school. Wait, is Dandelion? Wait, what? Dandelion's like little cat boys and okay, fox okay. boys. Because here's the thing. I don't know if you know this about me, Holden. I was a very lonely teenager. <laughs> you played a lot of uh, Japanese dating sims back in the day. I mean, I don't want to admit in front of. God and 73 strangers. <laughs> that was a real gross, horny teenager. But I played a lot of dating Listen, sims. You're in a safe space. It's yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, we, thing, our favorite thing is hentai. Our second favorite <laughs> thing is hentai. That's where we. That's where yeah, did you ever think, see the video of someone asking Samuel Jackson if he watches anime? He's like, yeah, hentai too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wake up every morning that I live in a universe where Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> watches hentai. Michael, your dog! Oh, so I heard was Samuel L. Jackson watches hentai, and now I true. have to know. You're fully caught up. You're That's good. all you needed to hear. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, Hacker God. voice, you're in. My so, mic got knocked over. Do I sound like a crazy person? No, no. you're good, unfortunately. Wait, there, did I just um, see a corgi in frame? Ah! Was, yeah, I just, yeah. I swear I saw half a corgi. He's oh, a, oh, it's Michael's dog. It's a husky. Oh, it's a husky. Okay. Yeah. What is a corgi if not a husky that's been <laughs> But shortened. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's my new boy. He's a cute boy. I see his little ear. Mm. Guys, so um, at work, uh, we have to have borrowers send us bank statements. Mm -hmm. And you know how, like, sometimes you can name your bank or your checking accounts or savings accounts? Yeah. Someone um, named their accounts clam hammer <laughs> labra boobies <laughs> and bukkake well this is for and a like, Hi, can I get a loan, loan please wow. <laughs> yeah I, I have a friend who has his own like llc or whatever and he named it a uh, poo poo pickle oh, yeah. <laughs> people were like please don't do that and he was like i'm doing it i don't care it's what gotta be it. unique calling yeah. it poo, -poo pickle productions <laughs> <laughs> poo. that person has more money than i've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life like that they can just uh, do well, it Really a oh, hero great. to us all. Yeah, it's uh, Henry Zabrowski, star of um, Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell. <laughs> no. <sighs> Holden's, Holden's casually dropping that he's been in a uh, sketch comedy troupe called Murder Fist for like over oh, 10 oh, years. Oh, oh nice. Oh, it's don't, up the floor. Even... It's the names you have. <laughs> hey. I, I have a friend who uh, was just in the chat and she was walking she, or watching and she texted me and she was like, oh my God, this wizard and bruiser of 
Cave Comedy Radio, right? And I was like, mm. yeah. Mm. And she's like, oh my god, like they're so awesome. And she was oh, like, awesome. talking about all that other stuff. And we're also yeah, like, last, we're, last podcast on the left, and yeah, uh, we're big murder fans in our little uh, uh, friend group. So yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, Mark Henry, uh, Mark, Mark, Marcus, Henry, and Ben are all uh, good, good buds. That's so cool. Um, dang. Yeah. Dang, 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 dang. I'm super excited because I downloaded like a whole bunch of you guys' apps. I'm gonna listen to oh, two of them tomorrow at work. Oh, thanks. I'm like, oh yeah. I can't tell whether or not we should recommend that people like listen to episodes about stuff they like or stuff. Yeah. They don't. I always think I always like to say it's good to like. I think it's good to have. Yeah, like you said, have conversation with your like weird uncle or like like some or so, your boy. Something you want to know more about, maybe. Right. Are, yeah, because I enjoy doing the episodes I know very little about, almost more like the one we did on Gundam. I almost enjoyed that. Like the episode, I knew nothing about Gundam, and so I learned a lot of shit. The episode we did about Hatsune Miku gets oh the God. most. Like yeah. I feel like that, that one gets name dropped well, the most. Yeah, I, 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 well, it. I bet. What the fuck is Hatsune Miku is googled a lot. In, yeah, <laughs> for good reason. That's the one that people are like. I didn't know what I I didn't understand why this was a thing, and you successfully explained it. (laughs) Hilarious. Uh, Are we ready to do the next one? Yeah. Yeah. Shankbone rises. Yeah. He's going to kill us real dramatically, though. No, no, don't. Don't kill him. (laughs) No, we love him. No, I don't. I want Shankbone to to come back. Uh, See, Tim likes to do the thing where he's already ready to record it, and then he leaves. Honestly, I want to go on the destination wedding of Boz and Bone. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, but Brit I feel Brett, like Bone and Brick Rap had a thing going on, too. Oh, but, but me and Tug mentioned. are domestic partners. Oh, that's right. You and Tug, you can't you know, uh, Oh, shit. Uh, Bone and don't see gender. So. Bone is not a home wrecker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, Tug and um, uh, Brick Rap are polyamorous, and so, we don't okay, really you know. see. We don't really, we we live together, but we don't we're not like each other's if that makes sense. Like I take Bone care of groceries. More views. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to be a part of it when Bone gets going. It is just okay. not good. <laughs> just, I'm, just, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, you have, you have to have double consent because it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. awful. And I am always like, stop, please no. <laughs> <laughs> what would mother say? Think about what you're doing right now, ma'am. Just for a moment. <laughs> Oh boy, the wine has right. hit the wine zone. And I... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. Are you going? Are you going? Are you going red or white tonight? Uh, red, red. Uh, get those white, antioxidants. Yeah. Get those. Yeah, teeth it's for my heart. You gotta. Yeah, get the good tannins in there. Yeah. You know, French people never die. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's the cigarettes, though. Probably. Mortal race of ghouls. It's the cheese. <laughs> it's the stinky cheese. Would you all like to open up your audacities? Would I? You know for it. You? God, there's so much vodka in my blood. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, again, oh, that's uh, Nika's both. thing. So I mean, not do that. She won't let us drink vodka. I miss it. No, I have a half day tomorrow. It's fine. Oh. Oh. Any day's okay. a half day if you sleep over your alarm. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yes. Sure. Okay, on go. Three, two, one, go. We're recording. We're recording. I'm recording. Yes. I'm recording. All right, excellent. So excited. If you think about it, Bone's name is Bone. <laughs> he uses that every time at the club. <laughs> I hate when it's it Bone. Works. You know why? <laughs> it has like at least a fifty percent success rate. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, I, I also liked in the Etten backstory that the women are the power of the Etten society, and when mm-hmm. it's Bone time, they're like you. <laughs> and then the guy's like, "Please don't!" And then the Etten woman bonks them. Wait. And then Isn't that them. like, yeah. um, oh my god, what are the ones? Uh, I don't watch Star Trek. Flintstones. Please don't crucify me. The the ones with the the ridges the on the head, and they like they fuck real hard. The, the Kim Kardashians. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> well, also the Vulcans they fight each other when it's time. Ponfar. Ponfar, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I know too much about that from fan fiction, okay? Oh You're thinking of Seven of Nine when she fought against Dwayne The Rock Johnson in an episode of Ranger that nobody wants to talk about, but I always want to talk about it. Mm. We gotta get started, sorry. We gotta... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you all humans with actual lives? Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Would not say yeah, that's not good, crazy. Work. First person to leave 100 bits in the chat gets my undying devotion. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that shapes are the currency of the future. 
<laughs> Someone posted on like one of our most recent uh, YouTube thingies. Uh, it was like, Google blah, 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 you'll thank me. And then I did it, and I thought it was like them telling us how to beat play our own battlegrounds or do a good D and D thing. No, it's the newest Bitcoin that everyone's talking about. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's like we should invest now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I only invest in cubes. <laughs> in cube money. You know, you can't even buy like a graphics card right now because everyone's yeah. stopping them up to to mine the fake money. Yep. A what? Yeah. No, literally, so like weird. a like say a two hundred dollar graphics card is now like oh graphics card. Because yeah. so many people are using them to yeah. get money. It's that new. It's that new uh, Bitcoin. Whatever, it's like Euphorium or something like that. It's not, no, there's no, there's no so point. many of them. There's so literally. I thought you were talking about like some new weird fangle thing. Like hit when we last left our hero. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what Bitcoin was it? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> are we excited and ready? Yeah, it has our own energy. Again. Do you want to do a zip zap? Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, shot right down. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. Are we? But are we ready? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm intoxicated. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so you're ready. Perfect. Ethereum. You that's a drunk it and drunks and dragons. Okay. Greetings, adventurers! You have joined us for another episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast. I am your dungeon master, Michael DeMauro, and with me is Jennifer Cheek. I'm first this time. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't ready. It's so so surprising. Uh, Nika Howard's here. Oh, shit. (laughs) I'm strong still. (laughs) Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Um, and thank Christ, Michael Bachman is still on vacation because we still have Holden and Jake with yeah, us from we, the Bruiser. We've be- literally been keeping them captive for a whole Welcome week. Back, now. They're okay with it, though. Welcome back. Yeah, I, hold on. Can you see this? Can you see this? I, it's an opposite. Bachman oh, loves it, anime it maids. Is it written? It's not rules? untrue. No, I it, think it, that might be true. No, no, no. They can see. They can see the fact that I am just laying the smack down on their. I'm their beloved friend. Take that. He loves they anime. See this. Uh, I don't even know if I would take that as a diss or smack. Yeah, down. he would what? own it. No. For it's sure. accurate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only the weak minded fools love anime maids. <laughs> <laughs> but the strong love the anime butlers. That's where it's at. Uh, please, Black yeah. Butler. Yeah, Vin- oh, whatever his fucking name is. Sebastian. Mm. <laughs> I've not watched yes. that one. Black Mirror, yes. Oh, uh, you, so should, you should watch this that. This is yeah. our, our second episode in our. Oops, someone's out of town. Maybe we should get some monsters going. Yeah. And we're ever so lucky to, to have our guests here today. Um, should we go around in a circle yet again and introduce ourselves? Sometimes I think that that's helpful. I am Brip Rap, the mm-hmm. Drunken Master Monk, uh, the Bullywug. Um, I am playing Boz, the Lizard Folk Cleric. I'm playing Cass, the Yan T Rogue. And I am Shank of. Mm-hmm. Shankbone. <laughs> We're in a two-headed Etten warrior, the last of our elite squad that tried valiantly to get through the gates of Ghislaine? Ghislaine. Ghislaine. <laughs> the point is all of our friends died, but luckily these adventurers are going to help us. Yeah. yeah. And luckily it um, was your character that survived because it would have been really awkward if Michael had It would have been super awkward <laughs> if like, you had invited yeah. us on to be guests on this show when we were corpses <laughs> like, sorry sit there quietly <laughs> this is a sex I roll thing. for still being dead <laughs> um tell us guess tell us about your podcast again really quick hey. if you wouldn't mind please bruiser we do a weekly podcast where we take a uh a, a subject from nerd culture and uh essentially do a bunch of research and dissect it and talk all about it and uh yeah have you ever wondered why uh, Gundam was an actual show and not just a series of toys? Have you ever wondered <laughs> why Alan Moore, the literal British wizard man, is responsible for 90% of comic books? <laughs> we will answer all those questions. Also, did you know that Gary Gygax was just kind of a shoe salesman before he actually invented this game, which is the reason why we're all here? <laughs> shoe salesman. Wizard and the Bruiser on iTunes is the reason why you will know this. Well, thank you again for being here. I gotta go listen to that Gundam yeah. one, like, right now, because... No, yeah, no, I'm like, well, when we're done, I'm, then I'll go listen to it. You're gonna go to bed! I'm mm. lusting <laughs> over each of the topics. They're all so good and so different. You know that Overwatch one is my 
first download. <laughs> and, uh, wait, okay. Can I share a thing about Overwatch I just learned? Okay. This, yeah. I didn't cover this in the episode, but it, it, uh, so at Blizzard, they wanted to make this like giant action MMO follow up to Warcraft called Titan. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And it failed miserably. They, it cost too much money. They just fell on their asses. And that team, the remnants of this failure team, made Overwatch. But Reaper is one of the original designs from Titan, which is so when you're like, oh, what a dumb 2001 edgelord. That's why. <laughs> Literally a character design from 2001 oh that they just salvaged so for like, their All right, we're going That's with funny. it. I love it. He is good. Literally I love him. Lincoln Park. Nice. <laughs> He's about to um, break. <laughs> <laughs> and since since this is a crossover, you guys should uh, check out their feed because we, you know, some of us might be on there at yeah, some point is. soon. Oh, you, yeah. I mean, wink, maybe. wink, nudge, nudge. 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 We, <laughs> we let you scratch our backs. We'll allow us to scratch your back if you know. Yeah, what I'm saying. we will yes. scratch your back. Uh, please, please touch me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and only slightly related to that, um, if you are a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, we happened, and we, when I say we, I mean me and Tim and Jennifer, yeah. <laughs> um, do this other podcast called Cast of Thrones, which uh, the new season, I think, is either about to start or just it's started. Soon. It's um, starting next well, week. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so that means that we put up a preview episode, and, yeah. uh, and you should run and check that out. Starting uh, next week, meaning the 16th, I believe. Right. Yeah. Um, Send so all you guys... of your Jojen Reed fan theories over to these guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not for the show, unfortunately. Mm. He is, uh, mm. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, so come come and listen to us talk about um, winter and shit. We will also <laughs> talk about the winter Whatever. aspect of the show, but mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, Cast of Thrones it is the Ur podcast of the Geekly Inc. community. Yeah. It started it all. And so us, the three of us, and Nicholas Bristow, uh, we finally started to have fun with it again <laughs> after a dark period of time. A it... real, <laughs> yeah, a real dark night of, of the Cast of Thrones. Dark middle chapter of yeah. the Cast of Thrones oeuvre. But yeah, thank you so much, Michael, for mentioning it, because I'm on that show. And I mean, like when I that, attention. Yeah, that was the thing last episode where I was like, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, That's we have to do this other thing. Yeah, well, right about now, we actually should have released that extra episode yeah and mm -hmm. so you're fine you're doing great you're beautiful babe mm -hmm. should all um, of us roll d20 i would yes. like it if everybody including our friends holden and jake our roll esteemed a d20. guests holden i believe in you even the last episode you had bad luck but you got... <sighs> thank yeah, goodness do we each roll you each no 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 you got, you oh got. yeah each of you have to roll each of you have what? to roll yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> i got a five i got a nine <laughs> I got a 19. I got an 11. Mm -hmm. And he got an 11. I got a 1. Oh, reverse oh, backward. Oh, oh damn. Saved. So the uh, rule is that if, if you get a 20, you get to pick the other person who does the recap. If you get a 1, no matter what anyone else rolls, you automatically have to do it. So yeah. Nika Critical. has saved you, Holden. I win. Critical awesome. exposition failure. <laughs> Um, okay, so last time, the Tidtown gang uh, had a brief little moment where Boz had a message from her deity, told her that we needed to steal a glider, so that is what we did. Um, Tug had to go away Damn. and do something, but mm -hmm. in his place, uh, Brit Brap came along. I've always been and... here! I just talking. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I was over there. I was like Meekins from Boy Meets World. Remember that joke? I think that's I think about that every day. <laughs> in one of the final seasons of Boy Meets World, they finally reintroduced Meekins and like, where were you? He was like, I was over there. Oh my god! And it, it's very funny. <laughs> oh god! Sorry. Um, so we glided back down to Glen, Jewel of the East, and there we came across a plume of smoke that looked like a pelvis bone. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Boz flew right into it yep, classic. and in, in her bone frenzy um, <laughs> oh, and in the middle of there we saw an Eton fighting the uh, guard keeps guard so keeps. we swooped in guard mm -hmm. keeps I don't really guard. guard close enough close enough guard keeps this is the second episode so there's, we're yeah. gonna have a lot more of those weird words that aren't words yeah <laughs> um we swooped in and we helped him introduce ourselves. Uh, we met our new friends, Skankbone, who have an amulet to find. One more time. Try it again. Oh, no. <laughs> Skankbone. Skankbone. I get it. I love to mess with the first part of the name because that is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Take a dump on one of the T 
two. I get it. It's going to be this one. But it's, it is it's, Shanks it's funny because you have sex with everything. <laughs> oh, he's oh the, the bone is not is the chase. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, that makes sense. That is completely untrue. <laughs> Shank. You're just you're just jealous because I was born first sideways. Oh, <laughs> okay. uh, my goodness! How large is your mother? <laughs> Etten's are pregnant have for six months. Mother. Big as a mountain. <laughs> the biggest mom. The biggest mom. Congratulations. Dot com. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how did the episode <laughs> end? Sorry. Yeah. What uh, else happened, Nika Howard? We oh we met up with a dog who had the amulet, <laughs> and then a man stepped out of the shadows. Uh, Harry. Harry Dresden, I believe it was, you said. Mm -hmm. no. uh, but Samuel. he was wearing a duster and long, scraggly hair. I can't remember his name, but you said it. Eh, gecko. The, the gecko. Gecko, gecko, yes. And that's where we ended it last time. Uh, as soon as he says the gecko, Brip Rap just gets tall up to six feet. <laughs> oh, he stretches out. <laughs> Gecko, you say frills, unfurl. <laughs> no, I, I don't have frills. I have, you know, the the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Throat sack. The big old throat sack. Yes. <laughs> 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 Your gross neck sack. I gotta look big and uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, I gotta look big and intimidating. Gecko. <laughs> Where's the last voice? Oh, it's else. the gecko. Um, Boz walks up to him and say, "Why you turn our leader into dog?" <laughs> She's not a dog. Well, then why is she wearing an amulet? You idiot. Wait, I don't know. I'm brip -rap. Maybe she is a dog. I'm stop being mad at me, Baz. Uh, <laughs> Knowles find it offensive when you call them dogs. I, but, but this isn't your leader. Yes! Hey, hey I told you. Hey, coward, don't go. <laughs> Buzz just <laughs> turns her eye to look at him and turns back. Ugh. It's gross. You know, I can kind of do that. I don't like it. <laughs> So like I was saying, I know where your leader is. So I immediately pick the gecko up and start shaking him, screaming, <laughs> Truth is freedom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, put me down. Or I'm not helping anyone. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Come okay. on, friend, come on. God, voice your voice, you're really sick. <laughs> I'm really sick of your voice. Like, I like that one. I want that one. <laughs> Truth is freedom. <laughs> so uh, you guys don't, you know have any questions or anything. Why? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, everything's pretty straightforward to me. So. You think you set self up as expositional character. <laughs> <laughs> me assume you have monologue of some kind. Uh, Brip Rap doesn't really understand what you are doing here. Why they call you the gecko? One. Uh, it, two. Uh, where's Cheryl? I mean, if you were to be any type of fancy hat, which type of fancy hat? Oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, tri corner. Very good question. Tri corner. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> Thank you. The, uh, the Duchess has taken Cheryl and plans to sacrifice her. What? Right before the, the Festival of Solani. Down the... here? In Glane? Who's the Duchess? The Duchess has taken over down here. Wait. Who is it? The is Duchess. Is Duchess large? Is, is, did you not get that? But no, is Duchess I mean, like... large, though. Did I, did I slur my words? Or... <laughs> is but what's her name? Duchess? Is the Duchess? Right. I Wait. feel like that was pretty clear. But who are you? He's the, the Gecko. gecko. <laughs> You're not what is... What is happening? <laughs> no, but who is the gecko? And also, you never answered the fucking hat question. And I'd like to know more about the festival. Do they have a planner? Do they <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do that. I'm very good at um, sort of creating a, a, a bit of a to-do, you know, this side of oh, the end. <laughs> I can tell you all about the festival. It happens up in Reeve. And us mere mortals down here, us non Norevians aren't allowed to be up there. But oh, the Duchess, so... the Duchess wants to be there. So Where does she, she come from? She's a, she's a, she's a, she's from Glane. Jewel uh -huh. of the East. <laughs> uh, this, this Glane. Jewel the one we're in right now, yes. Oh, very nice. She, she, uh, something, something went wrong with the magic that the Norevians have been using to control us down here. Uh -huh. And, and what happened? Uh, well, everyone's gone crazy. Can't you see? 
Yeah, there's oh, fires. You're insane. And, it's it's like, gone mad down here. Like a Putting ambulance here. on dogs. <laughs> 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 Jewelry doesn't go on dogs. Come on. The the Duchess I, thinks that if she sacrifice if she sacrifices Cheryl, then Jet will take her up to Nareev for the festival. Why? Why? Jake, roll charisma. Get him to tell us truth. <laughs> Use charisma. Oh, my charisma? <laughs> yes. Can I do that? <laughs> Should I do that now? Yeah. Sure, yeah. You can roll, roll that beautiful uh, bone. Curse. Oh, oh shit. shit. This lady is on fire. I got a 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and wait, um, wait. Oh, wait. I, N plus one, so 20. Wow. Nice. I, I, I was joking because I thought we were, like, dumb and, and slow. <laughs> but it turns so out we're actually very slick. Mechanically, you're dumb and slow. But... You, you, are you, it's one time. So are you trying to see if he's telling the truth, or are you trying to get him to... Oh, okay, okay. You? Well, now that we Good succeeded question. wildly, what did we actually want to do? <laughs> uh, also, already regretting this voice I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you sound beautiful. You sound great. Just do I'm the guy be able to talk though, tomorrow. See if anyone notices. Can <laughs> you tell the truth? Uh, no, we need info. We need info. So where's the, where is the Duchess? Where is the Duchess? I can take you to her. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> as long as there's more next to break, they hurt my swamp. And I think I could maybe convince her to let me sort of create the party, uh, the festival, <laughs> if that could be arranged. That'd Man. be fun. We went upstairs and we found out that actually we don't want the festival to happen. Right? Is that right? Was I listening? Yeah. I, I, I had my mouth shut, ear holes opened. <laughs> <laughs> That's about clear it. hearts can't lose. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's maybe if we stop this festival, I'll get to create my own festival, and then okay, we'll it'll be called the Festival of Fun. <laughs> uh, er, er, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I really lost the entire voice somewhere. Yeah, you ended up. You're kind of a uh, um, Alan Thick <laughs> from Comedy Bang Bang right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm always doing a comedy bang bang voice. I have I to get, figure out which all, one I'm doing. All the time, yes. I thought with your pizza loving, you were more of a. Michelangelo kind of yeah. Well, purple. I was doing Lauren Lapkus, you were doing, doing Ho -Ho, Ho Ho, yes, and now I'm doing I'm Paul Tompkins doing Alan Thick, but maybe it's just so dry in here. Ah, I'm so dry. <laughs> Can you do like a high nasal Alan Rickman? <laughs> hey, my son, <laughs> I think I'm dead. <laughs> okay, okay, so wait, so we're we're trusting the gecko. Yeah, fuck it. Which is a synonym for doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> to trust the gecko. Yo, you trust the gecko. <laughs> uh, to, to prove that you're uh, one of us, you have to lick my arm. <laughs> Don't lick its arm. <laughs> <laughs> Me hear you cool. Are you cool? <laughs> you're, not a, you're not a cop, are you? <laughs> I'm the only one in the group who's going to tell you not to do it. You're probably going to do it, but just you shouldn't do it. If you, you cop, you have to tell us. <laughs> I I don't lick frog arms. Sorry. What'd you say to me? And <laughs> tall, big old throat. <laughs> Just enormous throat. What'd you say to me? I, I, I look at the inflation me. of the sack and 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 like slightly admire it. <laughs> like I don't want to. I don't want to see this dude. Just go. Um. Fine. Follow us. With, 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 Lord, with, I think I think we are following him. Okay. <laughs> we agree, so we do it. Okay, so uh, so yeah, so you're following the gecko. Yeah, he, following the gecko, he yep. leads you out of the right. building. Follow the gecko. That's um, a very mean nickname. If he just has one bulging eye, I mean that might be a birth defect, and that's not nice. No, it's not bulging. He just has a glass eye. Oh, uh, glass eye. He's mad at Moody, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he. <laughs> Yes, he's mad eye moody. Um, so he takes you out and uh, he takes you through the streets and he like sneaks you back behind like buildings and then takes you through a basement and he's got all these like winding around every once in a while like a like a, um, a set of guards with like red glowing eyes walks by and he's you know basically sneaking you around. I want to ask him um, what's up with the red red glowing eyes. What's up with the red glowing eyes? Good instinct. <laughs> that that started happening when all the Norevians went up. To Nareev and, and left us down here. I think something, something with their magic went wrong. But you think they are possessed? <clears throat> I, I, well, they were possessed, and something about the distance has made them gone 
go manic mm. and uh and they're just i don't know everything is just falling apart why aren't you falling apart brother they never had me under their control in the first place. Up top, I like you again. <laughs> he That's considers, so he considers, and he pauses for a second, and he gives you the high five. Nice! Yes. <laughs> yes. Shank, yeah. what, what do you think of, of proceeding so far? I think fun, you know? <laughs> I always think fun, though. I like that I, I heard the word festival, and now my head's in the cloud. <laughs> You're accidentally like bumping into carts and stuff. He's ready to I'm just like oh. up to Nareem. We get special flowers on the tables. The whole the whole nine. I wanted to be really nice. Um, um, Boss walks up. Well, she's like I guess walking beside, and she kind of crosses her arms like, "How this dog get amulet? <laughs> Still there? <laughs> <laughs> Me work hard." <laughs> We oh. deserve nice things. <laughs> oh, no. you think that Boz wants an amulet and she wants to do what the dog did in order to get it? <laughs> That's hundred percent. I'm a good girl. Bone is ninety percent a piece of garbage, but ten percent the hardest worker I've ever had. <laughs> That's how we got that amulet. Uh, the Duchess might be crazy, but she's no fool. She knew what that amulet was for, and she was trying to trick you. <clears throat> it worked, huh? <laughs> Maybe. It, it worked very good. All my friends dead. <laughs> our, so, sorry, our friends. Um, he goes, all right, everyone, be cool. We're almost there. I'm cool. And uh, he takes you in into this large building. Uh, I'm, since, have you had a short rest yet? What's up? Can we? Uh, if you want oh. one, you can have one. I would love a short oh, rest. Hold it, it's time to roll hit dice. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to get some hit hit points back, you can definitely do that. Which one's the D twelve? Like, is it the Pentagon? Pentagon it's, thing? Uh, it's the weird looking. It's the, it's... the second biggest one. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the one that looks like a soccer ball. Yeah. Ugh, We're back up to full health, my friends. Nice. Thanks. Nice. Nice. Oh, my dog was just having a wild dream. He was oh, buddy. Making all kinds of noises. Okay. I I get one of my things back and. Uh, I immediately stab myself in the thigh as a sign of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these things. Wait, how do I know which actual dice to roll for my hit dice? I forgot how this works. Um, it's it, we didn't write it down. Number so. of hit points you get are each. I think it's a D eight. A D eight. Okay. Yeah. I see the first. I feel like that's the right. gecko is confused as we all What's just decide to take a nap suddenly. <laughs> Claire, <laughs> uh, I got. A f I'm gonna use two because you're gonna keep track of this, right? Yes. Yeah. So when we play these characters again in a year and a half, <laughs> yeah. like, all right, you had, you have a D eight, Jennifer. Thank you. Does he have a pen? Sure. I wish you had a pen. Yeah, man. Too bad I only have one pen in this house. <laughs> we have several, but they're all broken. All Damn, broken. All cup full of broken pens. I'm back up to full health. Broken. Okay, so everyone ready? Yes. Yep. Yeah. More than okay. more than ready. So he leads you into this large building, and um, you're in this kind of really big area, really high ceilings and all this stuff, and the floor is kind of full of like refuse and debris and things like that. And uh, and he walks a little bit ahead of you, and he turns around and he goes, "Shit, sorry guys, this is going to be confusing." <laughs> <laughs> and the floor just drops out underneath you. Yeah. And you all, go, you all <laughs> fall you, through the air. Is this an adults-only podcast? Wait. Quick, quick question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As we plummet, I just scream, Fuck you, Gecko! <laughs> Can I do an uh, athletics check to try to wrap my tongue, or an acrobatics check to try to wrap my tongue around a girder or something? No, wrap it around the Gecko. Drag him to hell with us. Oh, is, is the uh, Gecko dropping too? Uh, no, he is not. All right, I'm gonna try to wrap my tongue around his 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 thingy, his whatever, his leg. Uh, That's the word I'm looking for. with disadvantage. No. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, because my first roll was lower, which technically <laughs> is fine for you because you didn't realize that I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> nineteen. 
to get, to get my tongue wrapped around his leg. Bat. Uh, you uh, your tongue wraps around his leg, and uh, and you're like, I've got him, and then I got his, him. Boot, his boot uh-huh. comes off. I mean, to be fair, it's more like a uh-huh. boot. <laughs> His boot comes off, and uh, you, you get his you get his boot. Uh, you did not get him. Do I get any more HP back for that? <laughs> you consume the boot for raw biomass. <laughs> I am at max. He's but really gnawing on it. Yeah. Uh, yes, Nico. Could I? How far is the space of the floor that dropped? Is it like a section that dropped, where maybe it's like a ten foot section? Or it's like, yeah, it's a large. Or section. is it the whole? Okay, it's longer i couldn't like make a bridge and then everyone could grab a onto me, like a rope <laughs> it, yeah. it just happens so fast you're just all falling before you, <laughs> you know it. it's like you just it's like you're just on these tracks these like railroad tracks just heading straight down <laughs> no yeah. man we got dunked like on, on the michael. bullet train tracks michael yeah. I, I didn't roll well Good enough well. and here we are in the dunk zone uh and we're falling yeah. Uh, you fall. And um, can everyone make either like an athletics or an acrobatics check? Uh, we're more athletic than acrobatics, so make an <laughs> athletics check, Holden. Okay. What do we do? Roll the d20 and then add six to whatever we get. Uh, I got a six. I got a 16. Fuck. We got a seven, thankfully. <laughs> I got a 19. Um, okay. So uh, Shankbone and Brip Rap, you both take. Uh, four points of damage. Uh, don't you mean I take three because I ate a boot? <laughs> <laughs> actually, the boot yeah, like boot falls off. after you and s- smacks you in the head, so you actually take six damage. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That is fair. Just kidding. Okay, it's not fair, is it? I, I didn't think it was fair personally. But... Um, and uh, you're you're all laying there prone um, <sighs> uh, in this what appears to be large arena and oh, uh... you've fallen directly into this large arena um all around you are what appear to be glain people with <gasps> red glowing eyes and I uh my fist into the dirt and scream never trust guide with pseudonym <laughs> <laughs> you know the word pseudonym <laughs> He knows four fancy words. Pseudonym's one of them. <laughs> Another one, Scandinavian, and uh, just the name Jeremiah. Those are the four. <laughs> he knows. You know me so well. I do. Uh, I can't wait to hear the rest of them. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the crowd is is very excited. They're all, like, yelling and hooting and hollering. They're very, um, very happy. And uh, an impressive woman up in one of the upper boxes stands up and uh and she goes thank you for joining us you're welcome the duchess <laughs> welcomes you that's me i'm the duchess <laughs> thank you for having us and might i also say i love your festival and i love it. <laughs> a life bar appears above her head <laughs> Actually, wait, no. Do you want to charm her? Go for it. Go for it. Can I get charm her? Yeah, it's charisma, man. Just say you're you're on her side. Say you want to do a festival. Can I try to charm her to, to be your festival planner? Um, <laughs> you can try to persuade her. She isn't actually... She, isn't actually, she wants to go to the festival. She's oh, not oh yeah. She hasn't actually... Oh, yeah. She's going to yeah. use us to do it somehow? Yeah. We'll, we'll find out. She's clearly mid-monologue. But you can <laughs> you can try to persuade her or something. Wait, wait. Um, let's 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 hear. Yeah, yeah, let's hear her out. I don't want to do anything just yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> she goes. She goes. Uh, yes. Uh, whoa! I lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> just getting it back here. Uh, you will be our entertainment for tonight. Thank you. Uh, this is Again. just all the 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 build up for what it's going to be. A fantastic festival of Solani. After your, after you entertain us, then we'll sacrifice this knoll woman. And uh, that's a wolf. And, can, <laughs> and, uh, and then Jet Razor will bring me up to Nareev and and I'll enjoy the festival. And her eyes glow red. Oh, her eyes glow red too. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm. 
I think we have been gladiated. <laughs> uh, Are you not into tights? <laughs> Are you not into tights? I all... say in a weird Australian British accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of my plan. Jet's going to think that I'm A number one. And, uh, <laughs> What's and, B? And uh, he's going to bring me up there. So let the festivities begin. She claps her hands, and the uh, door, a large door opens. And out walks a horrific beast. Uh-oh. Is it scary? Uh, is it a frog? Because I can talk to it. I mean, I said it was horrific, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Is... Uh, it is. It has appears to have the... It is a large monstrosity that appears to have the body of a uh, tiger or a lion. And it's got a spiked tail and a kind of a weird human face and mm. big big wings. Is that a manticore? Um, I keep forgetting what a manticore is, but it feels oh, like... Oh, it is a manticore. It sounds like a manticore, right? for sure. It's feeling very manticore-ish to you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the general vibe you get, manticore. It's got a manticore. I roll yes. for manticore identity. <laughs> <laughs> you actually can um, roll for like nature or whatever. Oh, we're dumb. We're <laughs> very dumb. Yeah, I don't know anything about anything. I don't know. You've been crushing those... Uh charisma checks well i guess that doesn't have to anything to do with being smart <laughs> that's true that is most charismatic people are stupid yeah who needs smarts when you've got charm exactly um it's got a vaguely humanoid head the body of a lion the wings of a dragon and a long tail that ends in a cluster of deadly like spikes <laughs> <laughs> me uh, tell you she not right for you <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. is this the twist I, does does shank know this person Former lovers. Ooh. <laughs> Let's all roll initiative. Michael. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. Uh, seven. Twelve. I got seven. I got seven. Ah, Eighteen. Oh. No, what's your modifier? Who cares? I, it, it's four. Uh, Shankbone had a five and a two. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Yeah. Not not great all around, you guys. Yeah. Except for me. I was do? only okay. Twelve. Yeah. As a team, we have decided to stand idly as our guts. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of get, get a the situation. Get a read on the, the arena. Mm-hmm. Measure twice. Oh, never man. cut. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do in life. Um. All right. So that was a twelve for Boz, a seven for Cass and Brip Prap, and then a five and a two for Shank and Mountain, Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys all did bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I Michael. It's the second episode. <laughs> yeah. Things are a little expect? slower up in the old roll department. Uh, all right. So. Uh... I am full on wasted right now. <laughs> <laughs> it started so so slowly. It's because you and stood up we... before. Yeah. And now you can really sink into the, the bone character. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A uh, a hail of tail spikes come flying at you guys, catching, I'll say, everybody but Cass, who is hidden a little bit by um, the giant body of Shankbone. <laughs> yes, by being a snake. <laughs> Are there any other snakes here, Michael? Any other snakes? Yeah. Do you want there to be other snakes? <laughs> I'd love there to be other snakes. Same, but oh. frogs. Yeah, there is a there's a, a a little pond and there's a bunch of snakes and frogs in it. Yay! We run over. You'll have like... someone to talk to as you die slowly. <laughs> yeah. Just like splash, funnily. Okay, so uh, they're, we're being attacked. Yeah, your tail spikes are flying at you. Okay, um, like Boz? a stegosaurus of, of fuckery. Yeah, but they're actually literally flying through the air like a projectiles. Um, that is a 16 to AC. Boss. Um, no way, Jose. You did 16 doesn't hit, man. You're no, my AC is 18. Dang, it's powerfully high. That's it like is. a full character. Yeah, it's pretty high. <laughs> um, yeah, I have, I'm a lizard person, you know. My, my lizard skin. I don't know. I'm not really sure why. She gets. I did not build this character though. That was my. <laughs> yeah. so, 
So if you're her base mad at anyone, you can be mad at yourself. <laughs> her base dexterity is thir- or her base AC is thirteen plus her dex, which is banana pancakes. Yeah, I'm extremely um, dexterous. Br- br- brap. Uh, I feel like I know the answer to this, but does a seven hit your armor class? It does not. Brip rap. This is just dancing, being, dodging everywhere. Man, shit! I'm gonna throw this die away. Um, <laughs> that is a. Actually, I think I know the answer to this one as well. Uh, does a 12 hit Shankbone? Uh, I, excuse this very, very noob question, but does does it have to go over or the same? It has to meet it. If it meets, it beats. So it, it meets it, exactly. Oh. Yeah. So you get, you're going to take seven piercing damage. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Black Mano brings up a good point. Can I catch it if it's a projectile? One, it missed me, so I can't. Two, could I? <laughs> yeah, I? I feel like probably cool 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 well it missed me so we're fine yeah too bad um all right so boz oh there's a horrible monster okay i feel like it's time to just fucking just go all out here so mm-hmm. crowd's going wild by the yeah, way they're very excited i bet they are i bet they're like, well one i'm scared I, two i'm i'm happy that they're having a good time you know I feel like I bet they're like super horny to watch us die right now, but it's not gonna fucking happen. No. Um. All right. So it's time for me to do guiding bolt. Um. So. Guiding bolt. What? Yeah. To make a ranged spell attack against the target on. Don't you have shatter or something? Don't you have like? <laughs> Wait. What is this again? A lot of cleric spells are kind of boring sounding and. They, they do some um, stuff. Is it boring for a flash of light to streak toward a creature of my choice? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> a little boring. Um, I don't know what it's going against, though. It just says on a hit, target takes 46 radiant damage in the next attack. Probably just your so. spell. You're is it doing a spell attack. Okay, yeah. So I guess just against... So I just... Yeah. Just roll like normal? Not yeah, plus five. Thing? Got it. <gasps> that was good. 24. That hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need 46. 46? Yeah. It's funny every time. 46. Thank Just you. Just two. Uh, yeah. Nice. 10. 20! 20 radiant damage. And the next attack roll made against this target before the end of your next turn has advantage. Nice. Thanks to the mystical dim light glittering on the target until then. Cool. Jeez, you did 20 damage? That monster yeah, so dimly. <laughs> Fired. Dang. You basically mark the target for us. Yeah, Thank so the Abaz just like shoots lightning, like a, a ball glowing light at this manticore, and also it just keeps glittering as if it were a Twilight vampire. So, uh, we want to attack that one, or? That's, this is, yes, do this one. Uh, the oh, manticore suddenly manticore. looks more very, the like, confidence all drains out of this manticore's face as you <laughs> burn this it with your horrible light. Right now. <laughs> It is not. Brip rap, you're up. Boz gives a peace sign to it. I'm and up. And blows a kiss. Yeah. I thought uh, uh, Cass had higher decks. Is that not true? Uh, really? I thought I would assume you had a crazy high deck. She's a. Nika, what's Cass's deck? Oh, you're decks? a rogue. You're muted, my sister. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's a five. Um, yeah, I'm a rogue. Yeah, she goes. She goes first? Okay, Cass, you're up first. Um, I would. Like to, um, I was gonna do one thing. Actually, is a free action? That's not a thing, is it? Kind of is. Not, not really. There's a bonus as a action. Bonus action. Can I speak to the snakes and tell them to go, my brethren, go and attack the evil uh, duchess? They're, uh, they're like garter snakes. They're like really. They're like a foot long. I'm inspiring the hell out of them. Right <laughs> uh, they they start heading that way. Okay. Uh, is red touching yellow? What's the story here? The kill yeah. fellow. <laughs> um, and then I would like to take my bow mm-hmm. and attack. Okay. No, I rolled an at one. It's like no, I will no, not do that. Right. Change my mind. Not do that. Yeah. It like actually kind of hurts your wrist a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It snaps back on me. The me arrow doesn't even go anywhere. It just <laughs> it falls straight down into. Mm-hmm. Okay, now Brip Brap. Brip Brap goes, Brip Brap! And then he, <laughs> he gets up 
and runs at this manticore. Uh, and he's going to jump up in the air and while midair, going to punch him with his tongue. Nice. Does a, I think, natural 20. It's just a dragon's face because this is a dragons of Tarkir spin down oh counter. Uh, what's a t- natural 20 get me? Just kidding. Is I know it what really it is. Is really a spin-down counter? Yes, it's always a spin-down counter. Stop. It's you this... really can't use a spin-down counter. <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's the same numbers. It's just, I, I have to shake it more. It's fine. Um, so I got a 20. I will stop using a spin-down counter. And this is a spin-down counter, too. Will you this promise to never use a spin-down counter again? And also stop making the spin-down counter joke. I'll promise never to tell you. Um... <laughs> So, uh, it's just that he only, it, like, our bag of dice is like, I feel like it's 90% percent spin down counters. Yeah. Uh, so he jumps up, crits with his uh, tongue punch. He's 10 feet away. Uh, so crit is uh, double dice, right? Uh, double, yeah, like your damage dice, and then you yeah. add your normal. Yeah, and you don't get two normal whatever. So two and one. Terrible roll. So seven for the first. Obviously, I'll do Flurry of Blows. And attack two more times with a real d20. Uh, 17 plus 6 is uh, 23. That hits. Okay. Are you asking me if the 23 hits? Yeah, I 23. was, you know, I didn't want to be rude. Uh, and then next up is a 13. That misses. Okay. So then I do one more attack. And fuck. Uh, five damage. And this is, a, uh, remember, what, actually, am I, is it magical yet? I think it is. Does, uh, whatever. If it matters, tell me. I'll look it up. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. Okay. And since I am a drunken, I drunkenly spin backwards and use the disengage action to move um, the rest of my uh, movement as far away as I can. So I jump in, tongue it, tongue it, jump back, <laughs> and hopefully get behind um, um, uh, uh, Shankbone. What, what? What was the total damage you did? Yeah. Jump back! <laughs> you gotta ask me this right now on my birthday. Uh, I oh, think happy it, birthday. It's, not his birthday. It's, it's not his birthday. I think it was. I think it's just twelve. Happy birthday, Tom! Thank you. It's my birthday month. So <laughs> it's still for you know a few more days. Your more birthday days. My birthday was nineteen days ago. But <laughs> uh, it is now Shank's turn, followed closely by Bone's turn. Your Shank. Um, oh, uh, can I, I interrupt the action for a second? I, I grab my own body by the shoulder and I look directly at Shank and I go, me understand it not easy being body partner. My God, Bone. I thank you so much for finally apologizing right in this very crucial, very upsetting moment. Me no dad always disapprove of you. He hates the sound, the timbre of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> but... Right now, this moment, me need, we, we all need you. Unlock the rage that in our heart. <laughs> Use the power given to you by birth. Blood for blood, justice for justice. Just this once. Me, me love bone. <laughs> <laughs> me, love, me love shank. All right. <laughs> Murder some some ass. Oh yeah, right. you do this rage thing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. How does this rage thing work? Okay. So as a bonus action, you go into a rage, and that gives you plus two damage. damage or melee. And I think it makes you resistant to damage and crap like that, right? Okay, and we want to go straight after the uh, Duchess at this point. Ooh. Uh, the Duchess is not reachable. I think that's uh, the Manticore. Rage. Okay, so we just need to fight oh. off. Some- Okay. Idea. Like from the movie. No, the big monster. We we're 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 gonna go arm in arm. Oh yeah, with the giant. Right. What am I talking about? We're going. <laughs> we're going after the. Uh, can I move to the to the uh, big scary yeah. monster? That became Absolutely. With my axe. Um, Linda, on. I'm coming for you. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit Linda with. Uh, my... <laughs> the man. Roll, roll to see if you hit. <laughs> All right, I just got. Oh, I just got a. Seven, no, no, plus six. So. Seven plus six. So uh, whatever those numbers. Seven, eight, nine. Are we really doing basic? <laughs> right now? It's the worst part about doing a D and D show. It's like I'm a smart guy. I do my taxes. I do not know what seven plus six is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's thirteen. 
He that says so, unconfidently. That is so close. <laughs> Aww. You know what though? I let's. I'm, I feel like. Uh, I feel like you should be in, in get inspiration for that one. I so agree. Let you yeah, yeah from unlocking moment. his his rage. Yeah. Yeah. So roll roll that again. Okay, I'm gonna roll it again. This is gonna be so sad. It's gonna be so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Get fuck. Trump is no longer president. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Do I do I wait? Do I roll again for uh, for damage? No, it's dead. Everything's, dead. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Dust is dead. <laughs> dead. I'm dead. Bones dead. What? what I forget. Does yours do, do the D12 or the? Uh, you're wielding the great axe, which is the D12. Yeah. Okay, so Let's you roll two D12 and then add your damage. Okay. So you roll twelve twice. Eleven. And ten plus uh, plus what we got plus four plus four. Jesus, that's, that's good. Twenty five, son. I'm, cr- <laughs> I'm in character. I am crying, and I'm just being like, "You doing it? I know. <laughs> you doing it? He's doing okay. it? <laughs> okay. It's your. It's it's. Well, it was my birthday a couple months ago. His same birthday. Large. <laughs> um, you cleave off one of its dragon wings. Yeah, and it roars in rage. And uh, Bone, it is now your turn. Uh, so hyped. So incredibly hyped by what I just technically also did, kind of. <laughs> You're part of uh, it. Yeah, I'm sure. also fly into a rage. Oh, oh, shit. We forgot about the plus two. We forgot about the plus oh, two. Yeah. 27. Oh, yeah. Damn. Plus two damage on melee attacks with this rage. Nice job. Uh, oh, my God. Does it wait? Does it make sense if I also rage if we're the same person? I <laughs> uh, I think you're both raging. Yeah. Okay, sure. so we're both raging. So yeah. I'm just gonna. But I'm you're just crying gonna... and raging. <laughs> I am. I am crying tears of vengeance, joy. Like snot I... right now, your face. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, kill too. <laughs> uh, is this the D twenty? No, no, that's the D twenty. Right All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll for an attack with my uh, maul. On the one arm I control, and mm-hmm. oh god, please, please don't suck. Uh, that is fifteen plus six. That is uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. That hits. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I very unenthusiastically just go. Yay! <laughs> uh, that is two d six. So that's going to be boo and boo. Uh, that is going to be four plus. Four plus two, right? So that's going to be eight. Oh, plus two, so ten. Um, I rolled ten damage on a mall bludgeoning. You, uh, well, I'll, I'll let you say what happens uh, when you kill this thing. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh, damn. oh shit! <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I haven't killed anything before. <laughs> Pretty cool, Bone. Uh, <laughs> not running down my not running down my nose uh emotions swelling my giant beating heart i uh i i rear up for like a home run swing with a mall in a single hand and just go dad was wrong about you <laughs> and just thr- and just collide with the monster's rib cage just shattering internal organs and uh also, I plug my podcast, Wizard in the Bruce. For my- <laughs> <laughs> All uh, in a single emotional breath. <laughs> seemed uh, it, out of character. <laughs> it, uh, it, it crumples and dies. No, oh, Linda. Linda. <laughs> right, Linda's gone. Oh, yeah, Linda, you take that. <laughs> All the mean times you're mean to me. And it's like, oh, I'm not emotionally available? Yeah, whatever. We'll talk later. <laughs> Um, somebody, Oops, sorry, I'm very confused for a second there. Uh, okay, sorry. What are the garbage um, sticks doing, Michael? <laughs> yeah, how, are garbage, they how far have they gotten? <laughs> they've gotten like one thirty second away from, like they're, if it's. They're about ready to attack. They're, <laughs> if, you attack. Can, if you wait another 20 to 25 minutes, they will okay. be at the wall. <laughs> And then they'll have to go fifty feet up, but then I'm they're trying their best. So, <laughs> what's the triangle there. between uh, eight foot tall? Um, uh, the hypotenuse. I just keep want to call you crush bone, but that's not right. That's different. That's different. Skank, uh, no, shank, shank bone. bone. 
Um, Crushbone is uh, Griffin. Yeah, that's, yeah, Susan, that's Crushbone. Susan Crushbone. Uh, the, I, how far away is the Duchess from the top of <gasps> Bone's hand? <laughs> yes. Well, let me tell you. Yes, yes. Pretty far. <laughs> um, but somebody is whispering into the Duchess's ear. How far are they? Who is it? And, uh, and then somebody yells, The leader is gone! And then everyone just starts scattering and running. And uh, and and the Duchess ducks out the back. And and everyone in the crowd is just like taking off. Oh, no. I rolled to desecrate the corpse of the monster. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. So do that as a free action. Forget it. <laughs> uh, Brick Rap gets in the water, splashes himself, gets all slimy. He's, he's got to get slimy. Yeah. <laughs> Slippery and sticky. He's... Get all well, slimed up. Yeah. So, so wait. Can we get out? Is there a door? Can we go through like the door where the mana core came out of? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Uh, well, hold on one second. I have maybe a spell. I love spells. Spells are great. Um, okay, so I have a spell called augury, but I think it's more like we have to have an idea of a plan of action, and I can figure out if it's a good one by doing augury. It won't Ask tell us what to do. Of get us to the next encounter. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, we'll, it, Michael, is there only one door currently? Yes. So I would probably save that to a situation yeah, where yeah, there's yeah, upwards yeah, exactly. of two doors, maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, so I just was, I guess we just go out the door, right? Yeah, let's fucking go through the door, friends. Okay. Um, so you go through the door into the tunnel, and uh, and and you get towards the end of the tunnel, and uh, the gecko steps out. What? Uh, what? And, uh, the uh, traitor here. <laughs> hey, gecko, and what a shitty he name. Goes, he goes, sorry about that, but <laughs> but uh, but it was necessary for the plan. And he what pulls plan? out with he pulls out with him Cheryl. <gasps> <gasps> okay, all right, dude, dude, up top. Uh, he considers your acrobatics check again. to pick him up by his friggin' neck. Ah, I got a nine. <laughs> it was like at me. We, we try to pick him he up. He's like, I was gonna give you a high five, and I punched your tit. <laughs> um, Why would you punch Cheryl in the titties? I just punch Cheryl. Punch, punch. Uh, oh, gecko. the gecko. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, punch Cheryl. Never drop uh, me down a hole unless I tell you to. <laughs> Uh, the 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 wind rustles through uh, the the gecko's beautiful feathered hair and his eye patch is looking great. Isn't that and um, well, we just and, learned a lot just then. Yeah, wow. yeah. hot. I did and, not get a hot um, vibe. I didn't know he was Fabio. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and he's like, I know a way out of here. Come on. And and Cheryl goes, Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, I go thanks down for, to one. Thanks day. for saving me. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, uh, also, Boz does the same. Leader, I, I really appreciate you coming and saving me like this. This is a uh, this is you're doing me a kindness. You shouldn't be in these uh, tussles, but with you being expecting and all. Uh, Bone just ca- like walks up, just like very happily and just like excitedly, and just goes, "Thank God you're safe. All of my friends are dead." <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's true. They are all. They have all passed away. <laughs> oh, that is that is just a crime. I mean, you do have to make a. You do have to break a few eggs, though, if you're going to make that omelet. Like, I'm sure someone has said at some point. Tonight. Every single episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Gecko goes, we don't have time for this. Come on, we've got to go. And uh, You're not going to drop us down into holes, are you? <laughs> uh, so- sorry, again, I said sorry. About <laughs> all right, we, we chill. I mean, we, we, you, we uh, see hold on. it is all okay now. One, one sec. Uh, do you have my boot? <laughs> <laughs> yes! There you go, brother. So good! Continuity, you fucking shit <laughs> He doesn't look super happy about it, but... How gooey is that boot? I'll tell you, it's slippery, slimy, and sticky, that's for sure. That's for sure. How gooey is that boot? <laughs> How gooey is the boot? <laughs> it's 12 gooey. It's 12 gooey. And then he uh, he pulls it on with a loud slurping noise. <laughs> I think uh, an old jet noise probably would be. Oh yeah, that's right. And uh, every other step is like a squish. Yeah. But, um, 
Same, but for different reasons. <laughs> and uh, so he, he leads you guys out and uh, you're, you're going through the streets again and you're winding your way through and um, and you get to eventually you get to the, the outer gates and uh, and there's a, a, a there's like a, a big wall and uh, as you're you're about to approach it uh, out steps for like the seventh time that this has happened in this this series uh, a person steps out from the shadows and you recognize them as the Duchess. <gasps> Wait, him? No, well, it's the Duchess comes yeah. out. Oh, okay. like, are you going somewhere? Uh, I fastball you're, special you're... Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's pregnant. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I, I reconsider my course of action. <laughs> Buzz, the, yeah, we are going to festival. And n- not you. You are not going to festival. <laughs> how, how dare you? Um, how dare you? Like, <laughs> she uh she squares off to fight you guys as somebody there's um clearly some tidtownians at the top of the wall and they lower down a uh they lower down a rope and and cheryl moves to to go climb up the rope yeah she got you yeah, get out of here that makes sense uh we could probably escape but now it's personal fight. <laughs> <laughs> you kidnap our cheryl <laughs> Now we kidnap your life from being alive. <laughs> in all good festival, okay? I hate this exclusivity thing that's going on. <laughs> and so we can all laugh. No um, laughs, we can't get Can it. I try to shoot her, Michael? Yeah, well, let's all roll initiative again. Yeah. That's fun. I love yeah. initiative. It's my third favorite thing. Ooh, finally. Uh, 18. Ooh, that was worse. I did four. This is insane. Yeah, I'm at three and he's a nine. I have a f- <laughs> 19. Oh, hey, that's good. <laughs> hey. Your single turn, you're going to have to resolve this entire plot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm um, sorry, what was Boz? Uh, a four. Oof. Oof. That's yeah, not great. great. Not great. Um, and sorry, what was Shank? Five? Didn't I say five? Uh, it's the con- the chat yes. will tell us if we're wrong. Yeah, it's fine. And the other one was nine. Yeah. The other one was nine. Yeah, it was four or five. Yeah. yeah, it's. I mean, that definitely isn't a number you're trying to like. <laughs> yeah. Head so. <laughs> it's also a number that rarely matters the specific until it extremely does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like sometimes you have a buffer of ten on either side. Sometimes you have a buffer of one on either side. All right. Okay, um, uh, the Duchess uh, goes first because she rolled a twenty. What a liar! <laughs> what a beast. what a liar! My queen. Yeah. rolls a twenty. <laughs> That's her special and, power. Uh, she um, she pulls out a heavy crossbow and fires it towards hmm, <clears throat> Cheryl. That sounds what? good. No! Cheryl, Cheryl's like halfway up the wall and she fires the crossbow at her. We what dive. We dive and yell, get down, Miss President. <laughs> uh, is Cheryl married? I, I want to use the proper. She is. Yeah, she oh, is. she is. Yeah. Mrs. President. And uh, the bolt digs into the wall right next to her. Oh. Woo! Oh. I got real nervous. Oh, Mikey. I'm mad at you as a person. <laughs> Uh, Cass. I want to try to hit her right in the chest. She shot at perfect Cheryl. Um, Jordan <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> perfect Cheryl is the ultimate fan character. <laughs> um, how does a 19 sound? Damn. That sounds like it's going to hit. Perfect. Okay. She will take eight damage as I throw my longbow back and I use the flick of my tail to like pull the string and get it to shoot her. Right me. I don't, I'll let you pick where. Are you, are you the uh, snake person? Yes. I'm the snake person. Yeah. Uh, it digs right into her shoulder. Ah. <gasps> I bet it makes a thunk sound. Sure. <laughs> it does. It does. It punches right through her armor. And uh, what she what, what does she what does she look like? Tell give me give me the tableau. She, Standard um, Duchess. <laughs> okay, yeah. I see I see uh, it. <laughs> 
she uh is is large she's big she's a big woman um she's wearing uh full armor she has a um semi interesting almost cowboyish hat and it's the cowboy uh, theme tonight I like yeah it. i don't know what's going on you got a ruby tuesday recently or? <laughs> I don't know. um and uh she's got a crossbow and a big sword thank thank you michael i love you you're welcome thank you for dming Hey, no it's, a, it's, it's a dirty job, but someone's going to do it. <laughs> you know, I enjoy it. Um, brip rap. Brip rap. Uh, brip rap. Uh, uh, scuttles. Colin's response is so beautiful. <laughs> uh, he scuttles on the back of uh, Crushbone. Uh, I keep saying Crushbone. It's Stop not. saying Crushbone. Uh, Shankbone. Shankbone. It's the same it's humor. It's We're fine. now Crushbone. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> well, it's my nickname for them. I. I love Touch the Skyrim. Uh, and, and I ready an action called Whenever I am thrown, I am ready to kick. Or mm. tongue. What? <laughs> is this the canonical name? Huh? The no, action the is called Whenever I'm Thrown, I'm Ready to Kick. Well, because. Chris <laughs> Claremont in the 80s in the X Men comics. <laughs> um, uh, and, I, and my left arm just went numb. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> you smell toast. Uh, uh, I, I would say you can just run up and hell throw you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because in um, oh, fifth oh, edition, I, I put my hands into. We put our hand. We both. We both put our hand into each other's hand, like uh, like we're acrobats. Oh, nice! Like Alley, you... Double throw, because uh, we were reminded uh, on Norhal that there is no hold action mm. in fifth edition because uh, spellcasters can use that to uh, cheat. So what you do is ready an action, meaning you ah, give a, okay. uh, a condition. In this case, obviously, when this thrown. happens, okay. Got it. So I get thrown. At her with the strength of two beautiful Etten folks, <laughs> and I want to. I'm my froggy angel. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to make an extreme super duper duper explosive kick. And uh, does a night? What's a nineteen get me? Plus. Uh, gets a hit. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever bullshit. Obviously, a flurry of blows. Um, Obviously. So, uh, first is seven. Uh, so I. Get, Connect doubly. Use my tongue again to punch. And what does a uh, fourteen get me? Misses. All right. So the the punch glances off uh, her head armor, but wraps around and or the the tongue punch uh, misses, but wraps around and pulls me back in for a headbutt. And Are we just what, getting over the fact that Tim forgot the name for helmet. <laughs> what did I say? It's a head armor. <laughs> Again, you did preface this episode with being the one where we will forget. So. I also, that's completely, I was like, yes, a normal thing to say. Head, thing, armor. head armor. Whatever. Uh, a 24. Oh, shit. Like, well, we'll hit, yes. Okay. Shut my face up. So that is a total of, I think, 13 damage. Um, and then, what was the uh, second? Tell me what the second one was, because I, I assumed you wouldn't add them. Uh, six. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, brother. Um, and obviously, then I drunkenly roll backwards as though the big boy from Hook. Remember him? Yes. He he grabbed legs and he fall down. I do that. And then I get behind um, um, uh, Shankbone. Okay. Um, bone. Uh, filled with seeing Cheryl nearly get hit and seeing the, the proud heroics of Brit Brap. Uh, I am so filled with bloodlust and power and rage that I, I decide to make a reckless attack, which will give nice. me advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it will also give me advantage, give the Duchess advantage on time. Or, yes, that, that what you said. Uh, but, you know, I'm just, you know, I got my maul. I just, I'm in it. He's I'm in to it. To win it. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get it. Uh, first roll, 10. Oh, no, wait, with a. Uh, what do we got? Sixteen. Uh, uh, a sixteen will hit. Yeah, you should roll yeah, again in case you mean. crit. So what? Oh yeah, roll again in case. I... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just in case. I mean, it doesn't matter. But there's a, there's that one in twenty chance. Now, oh, 19, 19. so close. Ooh. Ooh. So a twenty-five. There we go. Big, big time. Hit. Big time smash. Damn. Mm -hmm. uh, so it hits. It does. Uh, Holden, 
I just made it so it, we're definitely going to get our shit wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we've taken almost zero damage. Yeah, we've done pretty this, good this night. Yeah, but like we're guest characters, so like you know the writing's on the wall. Oh, so true, so true, so true. <laughs> uh, so wait, the mall is two d six. So yay, yay, five and six plus four is fifteen. Fifteen. Thank you. Thank you. Alcohol is bad for arithmetic. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Don't we know it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you you clonk her real hard, and uh, <laughs> but she staggers, but she's still standing. I, I actually texted my girlfriend and said, "I said, like, forgive me. I might clonk a grown woman in a fantasy." <laughs> <state>. <laughs> as I said last episode, there's no such thing as like, <laughs> yeah, it's a fantasy world. We're gonna make it. it everything's chill. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Shank. Ah, I'll, I'll, I will now do a little clonking myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to clunk. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you sure you don't want to roll diplomacy? <laughs> already, already my old clonking arm. No, I've got. I've now. Now I, I encountered Linda. I've got a bit of the old bloodlust. He's got, he, he's got, a taste got advantage, so you can roll twice. There you, you got go. a taste for it now. I got an eight, so I should roll. A you should roll again. again. You crazy that clonk. And uh, a nine, so, and with, with a attack bonus is plus six, so that's fifteen. Fifteen, yeah, just misses. Sorry. Uh, oh. Clonking arms, giving up. <laughs> I, I, I pat, I pat, I pat uh, Shank on the shoulder. I'm just like, you, you get him next time. It, it deflects right off her head armor. Yes, whatever one would call that. <laughs> Why we fall down, Master Bruce? <laughs> we pick ourselves back up. All right. Yeah. Every time we quote that movie, it makes me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two. Um, <laughs> Boz. Okay. I would like to do my classic move of inflict wounds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are we all? <laughs> so here's a question. I have. That's what I meant about cleric spells. They're like. Cure of light. Hurt hurt punch. Do a hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a hurt upon a body, please. Um, so how do you do a melee spell when you're not using like a weapon? Like how do you roll you know what I mean? Just like touch him. No, but I mean like what do I roll? Like it's still your spell just, casting. It's still my spell casting. Okay, yeah. cool. Um I don't know why. I got... it's, it's just range. So yeah. like some spells are just touch. Okay. So it's eighteen. That's what I hit. Yay. Oh man, I hope. I hope you didn't inflict. That the Duchess is ready for some necrotic damage. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to get na, 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 some na, necromancy na, upon na, her ass. Na, 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 na. Is I never know what the that's a percentage. one shit. Um, thirteen necrotic damage. All right, could have been better. In my opinion, <laughs> could have been better. Yeah. Um, from the top of the wall behind you, you hear Cheryl uh, go, "Who's a number one now?" <laughs> and just a hail of crossbow bolt bolts yeah! flying down, oh, shit. and uh, just puncturing the Duchess right and left. Oh my gosh, and she got perforated. She, she falls down. I'm dead. so inspired. Hey. Uh, and um, Rip Rap goes up and rips her head off. And... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Rip Rap eats it. But first <laughs> takes off her hat armor. Like my hat. Shank um, tries to get a slow clap glowing. going for that. <laughs> and how, 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 how does, if Bone wants to clap, what is Shank doing? Does he do the old chest pat or the one hand clap until Shank gets in with it? Or. <laughs> It's definitely not easy for them. They're high fiving over and over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys, uh, you guys make it out alive, and we saved them. We saved the day. You'd say you did. Are we heroes? You, you are heroes. Yes. Um, and for fun, um, if anybody wants to go and uh, watch the movie Escape from New York, uh, you'll realize that that's what we just did. Okay. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> nice Duchess job. Of New York, a number one. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> is it the plot i've never seen it pretty much okay that's good that's i love that good. i love when we do something that is a one-to-one 
pop culture mm-hmm. thing. That's the good yeah. shit. Yeah. Somebody will appreciate it. Somebody who's like a thousand years old. Because like his name's Snake in it, right? I thought we were doing the Warriors. I'm not Yeah, gonna Gecko lie. was Snake. Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, and, and then once you told us he was attractive, uh, we're like, I was I, like, I don't know the reference. The but... hair shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. I hate not knowing things. <laughs> it's my favorite though. Yeah. I'm, Mike, I'm not gonna lie, the feeling that is flowing through my veins right now is unbridled betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the movie it's the Duke, not the Duchess. Uh, yes. uh, okay. That's good. <laughs> uh, Did they fall down a hole? Was there a hole? Uh, they do fall down holes, but there's also a big arena fight with a nice. big mean guy. Okay. Yeah. What about where's the Cheryl fit into all of this? Oh, uh, yeah. well, she's okay. the president. Yeah. She's yeah, the yeah. president. Oh, okay. Gets trapped in New York. God damn, that's awesome. What? I'm so happy. I kind of. All right. We gotta watch this movie. It's now. a very dumb movie. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think I've seen the trailer for the one where he like surfs a lot. Yeah, I think. Is that I think that's L.A. L.A. You're thinking of Captain Ron. You're thinking of... <laughs> I love Captain Ron. Ron Rowland, Captain Ron. Yeah. Um, Timothy. Yes. Do you have any more feedback for us? I do. The Brit Brat voice in the red wine has scoured my vo- uh, voice. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Uh, Brandon from Michigan says, perhaps the greatest podcast of all time. Having been a listener for three plus years, I figure it's about time. I finally wrote a review right off the bat. I'd like to say that Thrifty is a phenomenal artisan and DM. The world he created envelops you almost from the get-go. Thank you so much. Uh, Long Live Bananas by 848-48483. Uh, big fan of the show. Been listening for two years. I've done a few listen throughs. And after my latest one, I thought I'd use my one chance for review to bring up how Killing Bananas Foster was the ultimate railroading. That's probably going to end itself good. Um, for the last time, it was Bachman's idea. Uh, just If you listen to it three times you don't realize it's Bachman's idea, uh, just want all words from totes not thrifty writing this. Huh. Interesting. This, this the one's camp- actually... Hey, nothing to do with this. Right. Go As on, someone go on. who's Read already been attacked... This campaign's DM is... Oh, should ha- actually, Nika doesn't have it. Nika, uh... No, I was gonna have her ASMR right. Oh. <laughs> uh, the campaign's DM is incredible. His story building is unmatched, and adventurers he puts the team through is mesmerizing. Aww. Started late in the podcast and got to episode 120. Can't wait to catch up and hear my review read. Say... I fall off a lot. After say, hi, Mars, for my wife. Eats all the bacons... <laughs> in the form of an oak sentinel while sly flourishing my dark past my goodness <clears throat> i got to know uh uh noob nathan says what a podcast this podcast sure is something tim michael jennifer nika and bachman definitely do a job hosting but more than anything they definitely is content available hello jk you guys are great uh <laughs> i'm your huckle i'm your huckleberry oh you gotta say yeah <laughs> i just crit my pants what a podcast I've been listening for a couple months, marathoning, and I'm nearly through my second run. Always entertaining and definitely makes me look like a nutcase as I drive through the many UK motorways, laughing maniacally. C. Khan from the United States says, what a story. Just got through listening to the podcast from the beginning, and man, was it worth it. Reminds me of the game I ran when I was younger and had me laughing as much as I did back then. Keeping the right work, Toby Trickle Tart is fast becoming my new favorite character. I was going to stop earlier, but then I saw... A compliment to me. I kept going. Uh, Michael Sparrow says, You're all good and everybody loves you. They're from Canada. Gane, mate, this podcast is wonderful. I'm devastated that I'm almost caught up and will have to start waiting for content. I use Dungeons and Dragons when I'm tutoring kids oh. with learning disabilities and pulling ideas from thrifty stories makes my life easier. I've removed the oh, chum guzzler, yeah. etc. Love you all. <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> uh, Zandria of the United States says, Why isn't it pepperoni instead of dog sausage? That's a great oh my question. God. Uh, my husband got me into this podcast and it's my favorite show. Uh, it's it wasn't too I wasn't too interested in DD before, but now I've caught up on this. I started DMing for a group of our friends that were already in the game. Nice. Thank you so much. Sorry for waiting to review. Uh, Mefilter from Brazil says, my husband made me do it back to back. Uh, <laughs> this is the Overthane's wife, and since he loathes Apple, here I am. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll be joining him soon in the podcast, and also, in great part, thanks to you, we'll soon begin our own D&D adventures. What he is- asks to send an okay, bye, your way. Ella39 from the United States says, from start to finish, heard a random show, so I started episode one, and still enjoy the show. I part you guys enjoy each other's friendship. Keep it up. Uh, Fox5 says, 
Disregard Tim's advice. Let's see how this <laughs> one's going to go. I started listening to this podcast at episode 111. Didn't know if I should listen in Skip order. It. Skip. And moving on. Uh, Mikey Sizzle. Awesome podcast. Just got <laughs> past Harper's death, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'm trying to get caught up all the way. Loving the journey. Possibly, possibly one of the bestest. Uh, drunk Dave says, I would... I wouldn't know if this podcast is the best podcast out there because there are too many to compare it to. But of the podcasts I listen to, this is clearly the best. The Thank story you. and characters are consistent and interesting, and the hosts are amazingly fun. I've been a long time lurking. I'm currently on my third run through. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Poon Goblin Rex <laughs> says, oh, yes, I'll have another. I'm part of the slabber crew you guys talk about, but honestly, you guys have created oh. excellent podcasts with hilarious content. I can't wait to listen to the future episodes. Uh... Sleepy underscore Gary <laughs> says, excellent, my favorite a- ASMR fetish discussion podcast. <laughs> Once in a while, they roll dice. Uh, Stitcher. Oh, in Stitcher, from Mr. Johnson, because you review on Stitcher too. Uh, life-changing. Hello, I'm a terrible undead apparition, and I haunt nervous and easily frightened people for a living. At least I would do that if Drunks and Dragons wouldn't stop me from doing this by producing amazing content! Uh, Petalongo from Canada says, never laugh so hard. G'day, mate! Just finished this episode. That Mike Bachman couldn't keep his characters alive. It was so awesome, I had never laughed so hard. And the song at the end made me cry. It was a roller coaster of emotions. Only one question. Was was Mike characters all wearing red shirts? Yes. I think if you go back, they were. They definitely were. Whew, is that all of them? Yeah. That's make all it? of them. Buddy. <sighs> I do want to say that this show of fan love and support has fueled me with jealousy, and I'm now going to sleep angry today. <laughs> you just got to read reviews on your podcast, and then people will leave them. Yeah, yeah totally. Uh, everyone just says that I sound weird and that my voice sounds fat. I don't know what this means, but I believe it. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you guys for coming on. It was, yeah. uh, it was super fun. Us. Guys, this has been are... amazingly fun. Yeah. Um, I'll wild. say if since I've had enough wine to be in the truth zone, having we don't do we do almost zero guests. I would say yeah, we've oh, done wow. maybe three, four, maybe three, four. I don't know. Not many. Not many. Uh, wow. And for people that we've never spoken to too much, we were incredibly nervous. But you guys knocked it out of the park. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now someone terrible will follow in your wake because <laughs> you've. It's almost the- like this game was built specifically to allow nerdy shy people to engage. <laughs> with people. Yeah. Exactly. It is. Exactly. I, I know what it's like to have a guest on like that. I was so like uh, wanting to not be uh, the worst. So thank you so much for having us because it really means a lot that you got, y'all would take a risk on us. And, and uh, we really just appreciate it so much. And we'd all anytime we'd be happy to come back and, and yeah. uh, awesome. resurrect yeah. our yeah. Whenever we have an episode like this, it gets dangerous because these aren't our real characters. So <laughs> whenever we do, because it was actually pretty dangerous because for a while we played fifth edition as side characters while still playing fourth edition. I'm like, fuck, really? man, fifth edition was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we should, what are we do about this? And Patreon subscribers got to hear the real adventure on Pathfinder. <laughs> we don't bring that up. We yeah, don't, no, don't. Nika, Nika, Nika does Pathfinder. They won't play Pathfinder. I, I would be willing to try. I'm too, I'd probably learn, I guess. Yeah. For <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, thank you so much. It was... Yeah, it was Powerful super fun. fun. I'm glad awesome. that Shank Bone did not die so that theoretically they could come yes, back. Yes, they can come back. Mm-hmm. I mean, if even one or several dozen people listen to our podcast, Wizard and the Bruiser on iTunes, yeah. Wizard and the Bruiser uh, it? <laughs> on iTunes, okay. a nerdy entertainment podcast that'll teach you everything you need to know to talk to your weird cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, gosh, thanks everybody. Um, I think now we do Twitter. Did we already do that? We didn't do that. No, we didn't. Either. Hey, thanks uh, for talking to us. Uh, if you want to get talk to us more, we're on Twitter. We're at GeekLink or at DD Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at Best Jake Young. I'm at Holdenators. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Drunks and Dragons? Well, make sure to head over to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, the hottest nerd news, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished giving that rousing emotional speech to your party planning Etten brother, head on over to iTunes to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dnd podcast, where you can donate a monthly amount to help us make this podcast better with each episode. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. 
Thanks, everybody. Uh, we will be back next week. Until then, keep it dicey. Hey. Stop. Stop. Whew. Stop recording. Yeah. Stop and export. Even though I don't want. Dude, it stop. Yeah, two, two, one. Isn't that like fun to play with these little baby characters? I love it. I, yeah. I enjoy yeah. it so much. It's like we having play, like, less like, options. Stoppable death machine. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I really like the different ones, but I really like Jayla. J- Jayla. <laughs> I, I think for well, me it's because I mean we've talked about this like before. Like when I made a Ludra, I had no fucking idea what I was doing. So like it's fun for me to do characters now that I have been doing role playing a lot more because I can right, yeah. branch out more. I mean, I still obviously still love Ludra. I mean, she's changed like character like mechanics wise has changed a lot but it's still it's fun to like think of character personalities and stuff now that i yeah. can do more I, I do want like maybe mid-level games i want i want to play lex more she's so fun yeah yeah i feel like it i don't know somehow it's it makes it easier to do more D D ass D D. Like we, yeah. yeah yeah totally totally well because at this point we're so like we have so much story that we have to deal with with our current right characters. yeah and i can break anything you do because i have myself and a copy of myself <laughs> walking around <laughs> and you know well like uh, any fight is like it takes forever like we yeah. we had three fights and two episodes yeah which is... well when yeah when you have like the bad guys have to have like a number of like hit points that make sense with your level like it's gonna take like a billion yeah. years because what are we, 14? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're going to go. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty late. Thank you guys yeah. for Thanks, Thanks guys. again. So Sorry for so long. This whole time. <laughs> um, episode. Uh... Oh, yeah. Who's Skyping in for Wizard and the Bruiser? Uh, us two. Awesome. Okay. I guess we'll figure that out. Sure. Off yeah, I think uh, next yeah, one's we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. But okay. awesome. Yeah. It so much fun. And it was so great to meet all of you. Yeah. Honestly, that was awesome. Such a fucking blast. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like, Thank you, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. What, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Yeah. Take care. And Bye, y'all. See you, Twitch. With any of us, we let us, we let yeah, us know. Yeah, now we have a